Also tonight, people living in the small town of Arizona City are mourning the loss of a beloved store clerk who was killed inside his own shop on Sunday. Good evening and thanks for joining us. For 12 News at 10, I'm Mark Curtis. Caribe has the night off. The accused killer is behind bars, but that hasn't eased the pain for those who say their little town will never be the same. Team 12's Chase Go Lightly is talking with them tonight and has the latest from law enforcement on what happened. Everybody knows everybody here in Arizona City, which is why so many have come out placing flowers, candles, and messages of love for one of their own. There's only one way in and out of Arizona City. Most people drive down this road and we just kind of branch off. On Sunday, those heading to church or back home notice one of their favorite convenience stores. My parents are here a couple of times a day. Had this all around it. Things like that don't happen here. For Vicki Watson, when she first saw the situation at Sunlight Market, she didn't know what to think. Confusion. That uh, quickly changed. Once I found out, it was total heartbreak. The Pinal County Sheriff's Office said one of the workers that day was murdered inside the store. Investigators identified the man as 41-year-old Muhammad Abul Hasim, but everyone knew him as Dream. Dream, he had a heart as big as his smile. He was uh, just always smiling at everybody and happy-go-lucky, laughing. They say Dream was a father and owned the store with his brothers, but he was more than that. He's part of our family. Everyone knew his smile and kindness. It's just a big loss to our community. A loss that hurts everyone. I know I'm not the only one that cried all day yesterday. On Monday, people were seen placing flowers just outside the store. The memorial grew throughout the day, created with the help of Rosalind Flores. The nicest people you would ever meet in a huge part of our community. The sheriff's office released these photos of the suspect armed with a gun believed to be behind Dream's death. Within 24 hours, authorities arrested 31-year-old Billy Johnson of Casa Grande. He was booked into jail on charges of first-degree murder and armed robbery. While the people here are relieved someone has been arrested, they now want justice. People in this town, they're angry. Especially since they know when the suspect entered the store, he was greeted by Dream with his kindness and smile. It didn't need to happen, especially because of the person he is. He would have given anything. Sunlight Market is set to reopen later this week. However, everyone we spoke with said driving down this road will never be the same. Just knowing you won't see him, it's going to impact a lot of people. A vigil will be held here Wednesday night. Organizers telling us they are accepting donations to help Dream's family during this incredibly difficult time. We're in Arizona City. Chase Golightly, 12 News.